this video, I will be showing you how to get RK Launcher, which is a dock software, and how to uh, get it going on your computer. So first you want to do is uh, go to the web and I'm going to use Opera. Okay, what you want to do is you want to type in RK that the file is pretty old, 2005. So we'll download it and I'll save it to my desktop. Okay, I'll minimize that. You can see it's down here. So since that is in an archive file, which is a war, well, it's probably a zip, but I have one more, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make This is it. It's, it's, you don't have to install it. These are all of the installation files you need right here. So what you want to do is you want to move the folder you made that you just put everything in. And you want to put it into your program files folder. If you have 64-bit software, you want to put it into your program files. x86. So you just paste it in here. Like that. So now that all the files um, are in here, they look like that. It's the same thing. <clears throat> I think I might have actually changed mine a little bit. Well, here's everything right here. It used to include these three, um, but they're just um, background images for your desktop, so it doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is, okay, the only two things you really need to, to work, a regular person, um, I would say is the icons folder, which has all the icons, and you won't have all these, like this Chrome one I did myself, uh, this I did myself, the GIMP, let me see what else did I do myself, TeamViewer I did myself. The Silver Internet Explorer I did myself, and the Ventrilo I did myself. But I'll show you how to do that later. So, I'm going to do the RK Launcher, which is application, which is 360k. Enter. You can see mine pops out to the side over here. So, this is what it looks like. So, the first thing you notice is that the name pops out. As I scroll over each program, and the, the icons get bigger. So, what you want to notice if you look at my mouse, it'll change position. See that? You can right click on that, and you want to go to settings. And this window will open here RK Launcher settings. I'm going to move this over here. Watch the RK launcher as I move the bar. You can change the box size to make the icons bigger or smaller. Okay. You can change the magnification. That means when you click on it, see how big they are now. And you can change the transparency. See how that dot bar. Now you can see the line you're clicking on right here to get to where we're at. Um, and I usually just keep mine fully transparent. So my size that I do, I just do to where the bottom icon and the top icon are kind of close to the edge. 
So we got 53 and 100 items to magnify. That means when you click on something, it's going to magnify six items total, which are the one you have. And then you have one icon on either side, which is this one and this one. And you have another icon. So it's, it's six items totally that's going to magnify the middle one, the two outer, the two outer of that, and then the very last two, and you can move that to different numbers also. And we can do seven. Actually, I'll show you what happens when we just put two, three. See how these three right here, see how it's only magnifying three at a time when you move your mouse? But if we keep it on like six, it's more of like a smooth rainbow effect. Not so lumpy. And we just, you know, personal preference, whichever you guys want to do. So anyway, I just leave my theme as default because you can only have it as default. Um, so you check this box if you want it to magnify when you put your mouse over it. Otherwise, you won't really know. Um, it's kind of hard. I haven't messed with the import wise background, so I just leave that alone. Hide indicators. Um, if you don't hide indicators, what happens is sometimes when you add something to here, it shows up something. I haven't done it in a while, but it's like really annoying on the dock. So I just like to have the name of the program in the icon. So I leave hide indicators on. Um, if you hide the poofs, what's an easy one here? I am going to remove. I'll show you the proof. I'll remove uh, Opera. No, it wasn't easy. I'll remove Skype. Actually, I don't think I can, so. Hold on a second here. I have to make sure that I can lock it. So I'm going to unlock it, close it so that it saves. Now watch the proof. That's the proof. So, if you hide the proofs when you remove an icon, it's not going to be, you won't see that. So, you won't know that something has been removed on accident. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Skype. And I'm going to add that icon back. So, I'm going to go find it. Phone, Skype, right click it, send it to the desktop, and you do this for any icon you want from the program. <clears throat> whatever the icon is, whatever the program is in your folder, and just send it to your desktop. Find it, and drag it over, and you can put it wherever you want to right here. I'm going to put it right here. Let go. You gotta make sure that under behavior that the is locked and add, delete, drag that you have it unlock, unboxed. Once I check that and I close it, now if I go back here and try to drag it off, it's not gonna it's not gonna drag off. So I won't accidentally delete an icon. So that is it. Um, Another important thing is how to make sure that this loads up every single time that Windows comes on because since you're not installing it, it's not going to be able to add itself to the start run menu. And it also keeps you from having to double click and launch it every single time. So my next video will be on how to set this up to run with Windows startup. Thank you for watching.